here back on the lake gonna do some largemouth bass fishing today I'm back on the Hobie kayak I'm using the kayak it has the stealth capability for fishing these largemouth bass so I got some new gear I want to try out today like most anglers out there when you you just got to get new fishing gear and it inspires you to to go fish I got some new plastics and terminal tackle that I'm gonna use here at the lake I'm still in search of that bigger fish that I saw a couple episodes back but you know We'll look around and see if she's on a bed. It's about that time for these fish to get up a little shallower and start doing her thing, so we'll be on the look for that. All right, guys, let's get to it. There we go, guys. Got one on the Senko. Little bass. Wacky rig Senko. <laughs> Got one on that wacky rig Senko. Little baby, little baby bass. It's having a hard time finding them there. Yoo Got one. Little guy, small dude. I got that bass on the outside of the outside of the Thule range, and I felt that tick, and set the hook, and he was on there. She's in a little four-inch Senko with the gasket, and a number two size octopus hook. Ten-pound fluorocarbon, twenty-pound braided line, ALX Abu Garcia reel on a custom. It's like a medium, very extra fast, taper, crispy. It's a really nice rod. Good for that quarter ounce and under presentation. All right, let's see if we can get a couple more of these little guys. Oh, dude. I'm writing a text message over here. I get a bite. I miss him. That's what I get for not paying attention. Got one, guys. A little bit better of a fish here. Barely better. Threw my worm. Oh no, there's my. Oh, I threw half my worm. Now I got a Ned rig. Oh, I threw my whole worm. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nice green bass. <laughs> nice large mouth right there. Got him on that Senko again. Sick. <laughs> All right, here he is again. Nice little bass. Got him on that four inch Senko. Gonna go ahead and get him in the water here, cut him loose. He did throw the Senko, so I gotta go ahead and, and re-rig something here. But good to know that something's working. Been fishing this side of the lake for a little while and not much is happening. There's a lot of toolies pushed up against, a lot of dead toolies pushed up against these, uh, these live toolies. This perhaps has been the wind side of the lake. That might be a good thing for us. That might be why the water's a little bit more dirty right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and rig up the Senko. Got this little four inch Senko here. I got those O-rings and they're just threaded onto a end of a Sharpie, like a, you know, like a Sharpie pin. I took off the, the black writing part of the Sharpie pin and I just loaded up the O-rings onto the end piece. This way I can stick the, the Senko or the worm into the hole and then just pull off, pull off one of those o-rings get it into the right spot and there we go it's kind of a homemade style <laughs> you know o-ring holder but that's what i that's what i made here 
Okay, let's get the hook on there. We have a number two octopus hook here. And we're just going to go ahead and, you know, skim hook it and make sure you get it on that O-ring. Let's go ahead and cast that out, see if we can't catch another fish on this Senko Finesse presentation. There we go. Got one here. Doesn't, I don't think he's that big, but he's on that Senko. Little fighter. Play him out a little bit. Tire these guys out before getting them into the boat. All right. Got one. <laughs> he got the little guy and I got my worm back. Stoked. I was just letting it dead stick for a little bit. These guys feel really warm. The water here is uh, showing 70 degrees, so. <laughs> All right. Just fly line and a Senko out here. I feel like we're gonna get a get a big one here, guys. I feel like we're gonna get get a good one soon. I think it's gonna happen. I have a good feeling about it. We're just gonna keep at it. Keep plugging away, fishing a couple different baits, and seeing if we can't get on a bigger fish here. I think we're gonna do it. Haven't seen any big fish yet, but I think we can do it. All right, guys, I found my first uh, bed fish here. They're not giant fish, but they're big enough to spend some time on. So let's, let's see if we can get one a bite. Oh, I nipped at it right there. Nipped at it. Uh, he, he hit it. He hit it. Put it in a place he did not like. I'm just gonna shake the crap out of it and see if he comes over and gets it. He swiped at it, didn't, didn't like that shaky stuff. Dude, he had it. Oh, oh man. Oh man, he had it, man. <laughs> oh, dude. He had it in his mouth. He had it in his mouth, I set the hook and popped it right out. We're gonna go ahead and cut loose from the spot. I popped that fish, but he, uh, I didn't get him good. I didn't stick him good and he came off and they haven't come back. So we're just gonna keep moving down the bank. Let's go. Big jumper. Got him on that drop shot. About 12 foot of water. There we go. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Dope. Got one right there. D shot. Corner of the mouth. Through the worm, but that's okay. Hook still held up. <laughs> Little bass. Stoked though. Stoked to get one. Stoked to get another one. Got him on the drop shot. About. 12 to 15 feet of water. It's kind of working it slow. All right, let's get him back in the water. Gone just like that. He was out of here. I'm looking for that little, that little tick. Just a little bite here. There's another bass. Okay, I got money to fish closer to the Tuleys because they're swimming out, checking out the kayak. There we go, got one. Good one too. Better one. Not super big, but 
It's a fighter. Ooh, he's trying to shake it. Ooh, he's got another fish with him. Might have, ooh, three fish with him. Might have found the spot, guys. Yeah, look at this one. Nice one. Look at that fish. Stoked. Better looking fish here. He had three other fish with him. So we're gonna, oh my God. Dude, there is a wolf pack right here. Oh, there's a big one, holy, oh my God. Look at all these bass, guys. Oh my God. What the heck? Oh my God. Dude, I caught this one and brought the wolf pack. Oh, and there was a big one out there. Oh, this is crazy, okay. I'm gonna get this guy off the hook and I'm gonna make some casts right here. You know, I'm very impressed by that. Very impressed by that, that group of fish that I saw. That school was amazing. Big ones. There were a couple big ones mixed in. That had to be like 20 fish. They all came up with that one. They were... They were really investigating what the heck, what was going on with that fish. Impressive. There we go, got another one. Got another one. Dude, I'm on that school right now. This one's a bit sm this one's a bit smaller, but I'm on that little school of fish right now. I'm getting them, man. Got a few of them here. I just had a follower right there on the underspin. Turned at the boat for whatever reason. <laughs> Didn't want to commit. But right now I'm just I'm moving down the bank here. I'm going into the wind. And I'm gonna I'm gonna be calling it here in a little bit, so I'm just just kind of like fishing through the, fishing my way back to the to the launch ramp, pretty much, with some faster presentation baits. See if I can't draw a strike on the underspin. Underspin and Kitek. Another little follower. Come on, I wanna. How about a committer? Hey guys, that's it. I'm gonna call it here. Pretty stoked on what transpired today. Got on a few fish, caught them on the Senko, four inch, green pumpkin, black flake, and I also got them on the drop shot. I was using a three sixteenth ounce weight and a number two hook and a robo worm. So guys, that's fishing the lake for a little bit. I'm glad to get out here and catch a few. It's always a, a learning process coming out here trying to figure out these fish and then storing those bites in the memory bank and coming back another time to see if we can get bit on that technique again i did go over that big fish spot did not see it so that's two trips where i haven't seen that fish so maybe it's not here anymore maybe it's moved on somewhere else did see that wolf pack which was awesome uh good to know that there's that many fish bundled up into one little area I really appreciate you guys joining me on this adventure. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below. If you like the video, hit the like button. Appreciate it. All right, guys, we'll see you again. Get out there, hook that giant.